What is good, everybody? Today we're back with brand new WWE action figure news that was dropped on us just yesterday. We got some brand new Ultimate Editions. We have a brand new look at the newest Greatest Hits Elite set, and I'm excited to get into it with you, man. We're going to waste no time. Dive right into it, man. Let's get into it. These were posted up yesterday from Action Figure Attack Ringside Collectibles, and we're starting things off with a Target exclusive that we saw back at San Diego Comic-Con. It is the Target exclusive Legends Ultimate Edition Hulk Hogan right here, Undisputed Champion, looking very, very very good, I might add, man. I am very impressed with this figure. I think you have a lot of great details going on. I mean, from the top of the head to the soles of the feet, lots of really good things going on here. I like that they added a lot of details that we've missed on some other Hulk Hogan's. You'll notice throughout, they really went all out on this figure. And I know they usually don't leave any stone unturned with Hulk Hogan, but man, this one really hits me in the feels. Very nostalgic. It looks very good. Head sculpts look good. You even have like the way he's like turning Super Saiyan right here. I mean, he looks like a absolute beast. The skin tone looks good. The attire looks good. You'll notice a new weight belt. Now, one thing you're immediately going to notice on the weight belt is they, it looks like, and I don't know if they listen to me specifically, but I said that they needed to, needed to switch the port. The port needed to go on the other side, and it needed to be where the buckle went on top. And this looks so much better than the previous Cody Rhodes weight belt. The buckle is now on top instead of behind the loop, and it looks way more natural. It looks way more authentic. It looks so good. Look how saturated and bright it looks. You have kind of like a, did you just hit me, brother, head sculpt with his lips puckered out. You have an angry turning Super Saiyan head sculpt. You have a smiling head sculpt. Rip away Hulkamania shirt. You have the bow. You have the interchangeable hands. Undisputed title looks good. The knee brace. The outlines on the knee pads is such a touch of detail. They have not done that on his WrestleMania 18 version. But I'm hoping we will see that later on down the line. This figure looks incredible, and I'm sure this is going to be an early 2025 figure. I doubt we get this in hand before the end of the year. Obviously, if we do, that will be nice, but I don't think we will. I think this is going to be a January 2025 release. But man, this figure looks good. This is unbelievable how good this Hulk Hogan figure looks. I mean, it looks so good that I will have to be picking up a couple of these. It looks so good. It's unbelievable how nice this looks, man. How much it captures the moment in time of Hulk Hogan. But let's move things on, man. We have some other ultimates that we need to get into and we're going to be getting into the next greatest hits ultimate edition set that is going to feature Hulk Hogan and Seth Rollins let's start things off with Hulk Hogan now this is a re-release of the ultimate edition series 13 Hulk Hogan which is one of the better Hulk Hogan's that they've ever done very very good but you'll notice they have changed some things the headband's different the shirt is different they're including a different championship and this is basically the equivalent of the long ago released Defining Moments Elite, that OG Defining Moments figure, if you guys remember that Hulk Hogan figure that I passed on so many times. I'm kind of glad I did now because that figure's kind of obsolete. It's still a good figure, Don't and I'm not going to lie to you, it's still a good figure. Not the most accurate in terms of skin tone and maybe some other things. Not the greatest figure of all time, but for the time being, really good Hulk Hogan, but now we're getting an equivalent of it in Ultimate Edition form with all of the different updates. Better looking head sculpt, better looking skin tone, more accuracies. This figure is pretty damn good and I like that they changed it up from the original so it gives you I don't know it gives you a different look man it's a different figure than what we saw previously in the Ultimate Edition Series 13 so I think that's really really awesome the unfortunate thing is the other half of this Ultimate Edition wave is going to be Seth Rollins and they didn't do anything I only included like two or three images of it because it's the exact same figure you're not getting anything new here it's going to be the exact same attire very I hate that they did this because you know we've seen it in the Batista with the Batista they redid it we've seen it in the other Greatest Hits Ultimates how they've repainted it or changed it up slightly. Really wish we could have got that done here in this wave with Seth Rollins. It would have been really easy to give him a repaint, I feel like, but not going to happen here, unfortunately, for Seth Rollins. But at least Hulk Hogan is different. You get a different take there. I know the Hulk Hogan fans are going to be happy. They have pumped out so many damn Hulk Hogans, and, you know, they're going to continue to give them to us. And at least they've improved. You know, they've gotten better. It's not, you know, the same skinny torso, the wrong skin tone. They're actually putting them out at probably the best way they've ever put them out. So that's really nice. But that is the Ultimate Editions we have. Now we got to dive into this damn Greatest Hits set. And man, I got to say, I am not feeling this Greatest Hits set. We're going to dive into all of my thoughts about it, man. Let's start things off with this one. We have Rey Mysterio, which we already knew about. We've already known about this wave. We've had an idea of what the figures were going to look like, but we didn't know fully. But now we do. We have a brand new gallery. 
we have a re-release of the Elite 21 Rey Mysterio. The first thing I thought when I saw this figure is what a random Rey Mysterio to do here in Greatest Hits. Not that the Elite 21 is a bad figure per se, but it's just not one that really comes to mind. It's a very forgettable figure in my opinion. I, the only reason I remember this figure is because I remember doing a glove swap on Action Figure Surgery, I think, where I gave him like half red, half blue or something like that. And it's not like this figure is bad or anything, but... I just don't think this was necessary. It's still going to be very poseable. It's going to have double jointed arms. It's going to have all the updated treatment. He does have a painted on shirt, so you can still see his belly button, which isn't the biggest deal ever. But I don't know. It would have been cool if they did the Elite 24 style shirt over it, so it gave it that shirt look. And, you know, with the sculpted wrinkles and everything. He doesn't have pinless legs. It should be very poseable. And it does give us these, you know, it does. He used to have, like, choke slamming hands coming with these figures. Now it looks like we're going to get, you know, the interchangeable reaching out hands. No mic holding hands still, for the love of God. But he does have, he's going to have his fists. He's going to have other things that you could maybe switch up the hands to make a cool fix up or something. But, I don't know, I just thought it was a completely random Rey Mysterio to release here in Greatest Hits. Not that it needed to be redone here. Maybe I don't know the aftermarket of this figure, but it still has that same head sculpt it had back in the day. Nothing to write home. I just thought it was an odd choice. You can let me know what you think of that. Let's move on to the next figure in this set, which is going to be Ron Simmons. Home run right here with Ron Simmons. First of all, that Hall of Champions figure was done so long ago. They changed the torso. He looks a lot better here. It, it looks so good. I love the purple tights with the white boots. Really stands out. I remember when we found out that we were getting this, we were getting Ron Simmons in this Elite Wave. We figured it would be a redone version of the Hall of Champions, which obviously it is, but I was hoping is, I think we saw a graphic of the figure or something in the pre-order, and it was in a purple gear, and I said it'd be really cool if they actually stuck to their guns and released the purple gear so it would be different than the original Hall of Champions, and that is exactly what they've done here. Really good looking Ron Simmons. I like the torso, the head sculpt, the headband, the gear is sweet. I like this a lot. I am most definitely grabbing this one. This one is badass. I like this Ron Simmons a lot. This is absolutely a pickup for me. I like it. I think the torso is better here. This Drew McIntyre Triple H style torso is better, in my opinion, than that Batista Sting weird torso that they gave Ron Simmons. Not that it couldn't work. I just think I like this one better for him here. But let's move things on, man. We have The Undertaker, which it is a singlet Undertaker. I thought that it may have been the weird, crazy meme face you know, for him, but they did choose this one right here, and I'm pretty sure this is a re-release of the Elite 27 Undertaker, if I'm not mistaken. You're getting a new TrueFX head sculpt. You are going to get some, or I guess, I think the tights are slightly different. I could be wrong here, but the entrance gear is definitely Elite 27. I remember it like it was yesterday. That packaging was so damn heavy, or maybe it's just the graphic looks more realistic or something. Maybe the graphics are the same. It's just something's off about this figure in terms of everything else, but I really like that they've gone back and done some of these Undertakers because they're giving him the striated shoulders and bigger arms really helps these figures because God knows we're not getting a new singlet torso by God. That's why that Ultimate Edition Legends Taker was so good. But it doesn't look bad here. I like it. Head looks a little big, but I, I don't mind this re-release. I just hate the damn rubber jacket. Just an awful awful jacket. I really wish that we could get rid of, you know, re-releasing these waves with these rubber jackets. I would just pick something else or give them a, a something else. Do something else here. Another kind of weird choice, though. It just feels completely random. They love re-releasing Elite 27 figures, man. They just love that for whatever reason. Go back and look at that wave, man. They release a shish ton of those figures. But this figure's not bad, I guess. It is about what I expected out of it, but the head sculpt does look good, and hopefully it will be a good execution of The Undertaker. But let's move on, man. We have Elite 2 Batista, and Elite 2 Batista is one of the most underrated figures that they've ever done. Batista Elites are so good, and the Elite 2 Batista was very, very good. And what's cool about it is it's coming with the shirt that it originally came with. However, it doesn't have the scratch WWE logo like it had back in the day. It is going to have the updated modern WWE logo, but it, it's upgraded in a lot of cool ways. I like this head sculpt. I like that it has the true effects applied to it. You'll notice that it has the hole in the back of the shirt, which I do believe was a thing of the shirt from the past. So they kept that going. I really think the logos on the elbow pads is a really underrated deal. And I think the graphics on these tights is a lot better than it was back in the day. So I think that this is a home run. I Like, when I think of Greatest Hits, this is the kind of figure that I would want out of Greatest Hits is a true Greatest Hit. The Elite 2 Batista was sought after for years and years, and putting it here, great choice. Great choice here. Better head sculpt. It's executed better. 
It's just a really good Batista. I can't wait to pick this one up. Maybe a multi-order to do some different customs and stuff because it's going to be double-jointed. It's going to be, you know, it's kind of hard to buy the Elite 2 nowadays. And now, you know, especially in good condition. That was so long ago. You're talking 2010. So, you know, that figure's been busted up. Getting an update here is the right plug. I think this is a great choice for Greatest Hits and not something that could be said for a lot of the figures in this way. Or I guess, I don't know. I just say it's kind of a mixed bag for me personally. But let's move on. We do have Hulk Hogan here. Now, technically, this is not Greatest Hits, okay? This is not Greatest Hits. You're kind of taking Hulk Hogan and repainting him from so many different figures. I mean, this is the three-pack Hulk Hogan with the teal boots or the teal trunks, and they are changing the trunks to white. They're giving him a title. They're giving him that same fruit roll-up head sculpt that I like to call it with the bandana in the mouth. Giving him a rip-away Hulkamania shirt, and bam, you have an all-white gear. Now, this is an easy layup release, and I think it's genius by Mattel, really, because this is a gear that a lot of people have been doing customs of, right? They've been, you know, fixing up different elites, you know, that the Cape Legends Hogan that we had, people have been torso swapping that to make this gear. I've seen a lot of people, you know, making these different fix-ups of Hulk Hogan. Now they have a re uh, actual release of it, so I know people are going to be grabbing this. It's just crazy how many Hogans we have, man. It really, really is. If you look at the last three, four years or so especially, they will fill up your shelf. They have done so many between so many lines, and it's kind of ridiculous. If you're a Hogan fan, you got to be loving all the different Hogan, Hogan releases they've had. It's crazy how many they have had, but this is a clean figure, a really, really clean figure, and it's not technically greatest hits. I guess it is, but you know what I mean. It's, it's a... It is what it is, man. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna harp on it too long. At least it's a solid figure overall, and it is what it is, man. I, I certainly would rather have this over the Elite 21 Rey Mysterio, I guess. But next up is gonna be Shield Seth Rollins, man. And this, you know, originally we said this is gonna be kind of an Elite 25 re-release of Seth Rollins, but technically this is an Elite 70 re-release of Seth Rollins when you're getting into a more modern Seth Rollins. He has the Elite 25 vest. It's not the Elite 70 vest. It is technically an Elite 25 re-release with double jointed arms, but they have given him more of a modern head sculpt with longer hair and so I guess you could technically call this a throwback it is going to come with a table and there's some cool things going here you could easily head swap it or whatever but it's just crazy how obsessed they are with shield Seth Rollins it's crazy it's crazy how many shield Seth Rollins we get nowadays or not nowadays but this is the second greatest hit shield Seth Rollins and we still don't have an elite 45 we haven't gotten anything like that we had the Toys R Us cash in. No new formula. They update two Sh Shield Seth Rollins. There's been three re-releases in uh, in Seth Rollins in the Greatest Hits line, and they failed to do it accurately or whatever. I mean, I say accurately. You know what I mean. I mean, it's just not for me. Personally, I just don't like the Shield Seth Rollins figures. I don't like the Shield figures for the most part because of the legs. And I know you'll say about the Roman Reigns, but Roman Reigns, that's like kind of his gear. The legs and ankles just don't pose great on those. And it's not, you know, I understand what it is. It's just personally, they could have done so many different Seth Rollins and they choose to do another Shield Seth Rollins. So it's just, it's just baffling to me there. But the last two in the set are going to be Jay and Jimmy Uso. The original Usos in the lime green or the bright green attires here. And these are pretty crazy. The Jay looks crazy. He's got updated true effects. And then the Jimmy looks hilarious, man. His eyes are... Or, you know, they used to just be kind of like they were hyped, but they weren't wide like this. Like, he is making wide eyes. He looks like he is going to come at you and kill you. I mean, look at this guy's eyes. It looks hilarious, but I like these figures. The necklaces were always underrated. I really do wish it could have given us some cloth good shirts out of these because I always hated these rubber shirts. If you collected back in the day, man, you how, you know how much these these shirts were terrible. Once you untake, like once you take them off of the figure, they never go back together the same way. It's very hard to get them there. And then if they get loose and pliable over time, they're very difficult to get back to go together. So anybody that has collected these knows what I'm talking about. But the Jimmy has the crazed eyes. The J looks good though. They're solid figures. I think these do deserve an update, especially a lot of people have been wanting you know, these figures are very old now at this at this juncture. I say very old. You know what I mean. These these have been out for so long, and to get updates of these guys when Jay and Jimmy have, you know, revamped their careers multiple times over since this look, it's just crazy, and it's, it's really cool to see these get a re-release here. But these are really cool figures, and I think they deserve a greatest hits. You know, I, I don't know. Are they technically greatest hits? I guess they are. It's just I think that... You know, what else could you do here? What else could you do here? I guess you could redo some other Usos, but I think these are the play. I think these are the play if you're going to put the Usos in there. They're a throwback there. But overall, this Greatest Hits wave isn't my favorite. I do like the Ron Simmons. I like the Batista. The Hulk Hogan's solid. Uh, the Undertaker is whatever. 
I don't really care for another Shield Seth Rollins. Had they not done that first Shield Seth Rollins, I don't think I would care as much, but having another Shield Seth Rollins in a Greatest Hits wave, it's just, I don't know. I've seen takes all over the place. Do you like this wave? Do you not like this wave? I'd like to know, man, but that is all the news that we had. We had the Target exclusive Legends Ultimate Edition Hogan that looks in unbelievable. We have the re-release Hogan or the Greatest Hits Hogan that looks to be... I mean, we're getting three new Hogans just in this video alone, and that just kind of tells you what it is, man. You have the Ultimate Edition Seth Rollins there, which is... God, I wish we could get a re-release. Hopefully, that one will be easier to come by. Maybe that'll be cheaper because I only got to get one copy of the Ultimate Edition Seth Rollins. I need multiple copies of that figure for different parts and reasons. Haven't been able to do so, so I'd really, really like to do something like that. But I think that is going to wrap up all the news here, man. I'd love to know your thoughts on all these down in the comment section below. I don't know, man. I, I'm kind of all over the place. I think it's an okay wave. It, you know, when I think about it fully as a wave, it's probably a half and half. It's It, it just doesn't... There's some pieces there that I really like, and then there's some other pieces I'm like, yeah, it's very skippable, you know? And I, I feel like I felt that way about the kind of last Greatest Hits wave. You had Cena, Natalya, Sheamus, Miz. I thought that wave was okay, I guess. It's just, you know, I guess when you have so many re-release waves at this point, you know, the From the Vault's probably going to get the best treatment because it's going to be more rare figures, more exclusives, more figures that probably deserve Greatest Hits or re-releases, but... I don't know, man. There's a lot of stuff going on. Speaking of which, the next From the Vault series is coming in very soon. It's going to be SES Punk, WrestleMania 18 Hogan. You have Yokozuna in there, which I think was a, a not a good put in the in the From the Vault series. And then we have the defining moment, Sean, from WrestleMania 25, which should be good, man. But I think that is going to wrap up all the news for today, man. I'd love to know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Leave me all of your thoughts, man. If you guys missed our videos over the last few days, definitely go check those out. We reacted to the 10 ugliest wrestling figures of all time, which was fun. And we've had some other stuff going on, man. Be sure to check those out. But I think that's going to wrap the video, man. Huge shout-out to our Patreon members. You guys are unbelievable. Thank you guys so very much for the support, as always. I appreciate you so very much. I think my biggest takeaway here is 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 the is the weight belt, man. Really like the weight belt, and I think my favorite reveal was either the Batista or the the Target exclusive Legends Hulk Hogan. That figure just looks so good; it's crazy. But I'm getting the hell out, man. I hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you guys later.